All right, it's Greg Milby once again, and welcome to Kentucky's Heartland, if I hit the right button there. And that is Kelly Tipple. Don't adjust your video screen. He is in the dark. Where are you at now, Kelly? I am downtown uh, Knoxville, hopefully on the west side, which is where my hotel is, but i still got another probably six miles at least. Don't tell my wife because she thinks I'm close. <laughs> So, uh, Heart of the South is the name of this adventure, as Kelly is calling it. 348 miles is the distance of the adventure, and Kelly started a few days ago. This is day four, I do believe, of our update. Yeah, 8.30 uh, tomorrow morning will be the completion of the fourth 24-hour period. All right, so uh, we, uh, when we talked last night, you were trying to get the additional miles you needed to get to 150, and uh, based on an update I saw earlier today, we're halfway there. Yeah, I got the 151 on the check-in, and then I hit uh, officially hit one. You know, 200 was a great hit in uh, total, and then 174 was the uh, midway point. So, yeah, 200 left. Yeah, you know, I meant. Been, but yeah, 174. Been a very adventurous day. So, run us through your day today. Well, of course, you know, Happy Father's Day to you. So, Sunday is always a great day to do these because. Oh, hang on a second. Got a skunk calling, calling across the sidewalk Woo! okay nice downtown i heard there's bears down here too but not sure about that anyway sundays are usually uh great days to do these because everybody's happy there's less traffic don't spray me please okay all right good lord all right so anyway sundays are good days traffic's less you not sometimes we'll hit churches getting out Sometimes you're lucky to have like a picnic or something going on, but there was about an eight-mile stretch of, of desert where there was no services. We were off to the edge of a, say, like a, uh, a Highway 60. Uh, you know, they built like a new section. That's where all your Dollar Generals and stuff at, but of course, Laz, he wants you down on the old road, which is out in the country, and you could look up there, and you could see the Dollar Generals, but who wanted to go across the field to get there? So you're out there in the desert just grinding through, and I'm like, Lord, just get me back to where this road merges in. And lo and behold, there's a church getting out. Pastor came out. Hey, what's going on? Is that do for you? He and his family, ice, water, prayed for me for protection and blessings. And then he's like, hey, I'll go to Dollar Jenner for you and get you something. I said, no, don't do that. Do me a favor. Lay some waters out here on the sidewalk for the rest of these guys coming. His wife's like, oh, they'll be... They'll be warm when they get here. I said, ma'am, they don't care. I think it'd be hot as hot, hot cocoa. As long as it's water, they'll take it. Shortly after that, I got to the family dollar, and a clerk in there, she done bought a whole case of water, had it sitting inside the door, and was giving out to everybody. I mean, this, you know, it's a blessing after one after the other this morning. So it was a good morning. Say so. Uh, and we, you, you sent me some photos, and I'm going to post some of those on the screen as uh, as we kind of go through that. So uh, you've got a picture with the pastor and his family, yep. it looks like. Yep. You're lucky I'm not my cruiser, buddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and then there's a picture of the clerk there, too. Uh, yeah. I'll put it in there. Got the dollar, uh, the family dollar clerk. That's a family dollar. Yeah, family dollar clerk. Super nice. Put me a chair outside. I put, I think I got a picture of my feet covered up in ice, yep. ice bags, because it was smoking hot again today. I knew it was going to be. I just tried to cruise today. Just, hey, just take the miles as they come, because I knew it was going to be a manage from two to five while that heat was out there. It's possible rain tomorrow, so I still had to get the miles, but uh, that rain's going to make it into the, 70 degrees so depending on how much rain it is it might not be bad so uh, i see here too they're uh, like a restaurant here where did uh tell me yeah so so we can talk about the sketchy area first or we can go to the restaurant what you want to do <laughs> tell us about the sketchy area first oh my gosh so just before i got into the east side of knoxville the meat wagon which we have three meat wagons they're called they're Laz and uh, Carl and Jan, one's at the first third of the race, middle of the race, back of the race, and they come by periodically, check on you, and of course they'll pull you if you are got that little swing, you know, little, the whole ultra lean too much or you're hurting too bad, they don't think you're going to finish, or if you call it quits, they'll pick you up. So uh, Jan come by and talk to me, she goes, hey, 
you get ready to head into the east side of Knoxville. She goes, just so you know, there's usually a couple, two, three shootings a week there. Real sketchy. I'm like, okay, typical Laz. You know, he wants to see the the beauty that's out there in the world, but he also wants us to see, you know, vagrants and, you know, whatever else. That's that's America, okay? So I was like, eh, okay. She goes, you know, just you know, watch what you're doing. I'm like, well, I planned it so I can get there during the day. So I go underneath the interstate and head into that area. Immediately, there's a half-loaded syringe laying on the daggum sidewalk. Then there was a pair of panties. Then there was a, I use the word lady, standing on a corner, had multiple track marks all over her. Uh, I gave a lady 20 bucks. She was begging for it. And then another fellow was rolling up a bunch of, I'm assuming it was cigarette butts, making him a big cigarette. I, I just kept my head down and plowed through there and uh, got to the center of town where all the nice eateries were. And I'm like, man, I stink too bad to stop here. Finally, that pizza place, I couldn't resist. And I had to go in there, smash some pizza and some mozzarella sticks. And while I was in there, I was getting ready to post, hey guys, that east side of Knoxville, you need to go through during the day and you need to have somebody with you. Well, as I log into Facebook, one of the guys got robbed. Shortly after I went through, a bunch of guys came out and said, hey, give us your money or there's some guys up in that building and they're going to shoot you. So the guy has no money now. I, I don't know what he's going to do, but geez, I'm, unbelievable. Well, now, um, Kelly, your wife is probably watching this. Have you told her that? I already yet? told her. Oh, I already no. told her. She was like, you know what she said? Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> I said, I, I, I'm doing the, the Shanghai shuffle right now as fast as I can, man. <laughs> well, that, that prayer uh, this morning helped you out a little bit, I think. True. Uh, apparently so. Yeah. Apparently so, because I had the head down and Maybe I had that, I don't mess with me look, but all I know is I got a big Kentucky thin blue line flag on the back of my daggum backpack, and I was like, dude, I need to just roll through here. <laughs> uh, so it was, uh, so you had that adventure, and then, well, you just had the little skunk adventure there, so there's a couple of different Yeah, things. yeah, that was uh, interesting. I could smell it. I've smelled skunk a couple times on this trip. One time was downtown Bristol, but I think it was people getting, uh, how should I say it, uh, inebriated with the medicinal weed. Uh, either they got a skunk problem in Bristol or they got a weed problem, one or the other. But I wasn't for sure on that one until I looked up and he crawled across the sidewalk there. I'm thinking maybe the skunk decided not to spray you because based on your smell, he I, says if that's what he smells that like, I don't know. That is probably correct, sir. That is probably correct. All right, so the picture that I'm showing right now, uh, the, uh, it looks like a little a, a restaurant, a diner type deal. With uh, What's that? Is that the mozzarella sticks and the pizza? Uh, no, I showed Probably. that when you were talking about that. But uh, the lady that's got the, uh, uh, looks like the, uh, I don't know, she's holding a, a plate. Oh, that's my server. Super nice. Okay. Took care of me, my pizza and my mozzarella sticks and whatever. I was like, hey, just let me get a picture of you. She's just. Made sure she took care of me. She, I guess some other runners would stop in there. She kind of knew what I was doing when I come in with a backpack on. Everybody staring at you. She wasn't, she wasn't too surprised by it. Hmm. So, uh, what are the responses you're getting like from the pastor and his family and and you know the lady at Family Dollar? What do they think of your adventure? Uh, unbelievable. I mean, you know, you just can't comprehend. Why would you do that? Is are y'all trying to raise? Are you raising money for something? No, we we paid to do this. We're special kind of stupid, and they laugh and whatever, but it's just one of those things, like I told you the other night, when you asked about, are you thinking about the 350 miles? No, your mind cannot conceive it, cannot conceive that. Wow. So what's our mileage at right now? Buddy, I don't even, I don't even know. I think it's, I think I'm around, I think the hotel is 188, so I'm probably 180. Two or three. I hope uh, I'm one's at eighty six. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go with one eighty two. Well, um, so you got how many miles left? What you said uh, about five, six miles left? Yeah, probably. And if you, I don't know if you looked at the last post, but man, people were dropping like flies. That they are. And, yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, and there's there's we'll, some studs in there too. Tomorrow we'll do a big update of uh, all the. Okay all the people that have dropped out and, and, and just kind of talk about the, the status of that. But, uh, okay. There was, there was a lot to, to wrap up today with this. So man, you've had a very adventurous day. Yeah, it was a very good day. So now we get out of the city and 
we'll kind of be in the country, go down to, I can tell where we're going now because the lead guy, Bob Hearn, he's, he ran uh, Spartathon with Will. He's like a machine. He's, he, listen to this, there's this town, I can't even remember the name, to be honest with you, but it's got a set of sidewalks elevated. So you have the bottom sidewalk with the stores, but then there's an upper section. Of course, Laz wanted us to run that. Well, Bob missed it. Ran 10 miles, realized he missed it, ran back 10 miles, did it, and he's still got, he's going to finish tomorrow morning. I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. All right. So, uh, to, uh, what's your plan tonight? So, you get to the hotel and you have a plan on what time you're heading out again in the morning? I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I, I didn't know I was going to get up as early as I did this morning. I just woke up, and I got out of bed early. I was rolling by 6.30 or something. I don't know. We'll see what the ice bath holds and whatever. Right now, I'm thinking I'm not even going to set an alarm. I, I'm almost in manage manage the end of the race mode because I'm not going to win this. Didn't expect to win it. Didn't expect to be as high as I am. I'm happy, satisfied with what I've done. So... I might just start doing the 33 minimums and just go into manage mode. I don't know. That's yet to be, yet to be determined. All right. Well, good deal. Well, you, you finish up the rest of these miles tonight. Get yourself some rest, and uh, we will chat again tomorrow. All right, brother. I appreciate you. You have a good night. Uh, you too. Again, that's Kelly Temple. He's running the Heart of the South Adventure, 348 miles, and he is uh, approximately 184 miles into this deal. And we'll get an update again from him tomorrow. I'm Greg Milby, Community Storyteller. And this is Kentucky's Heartland.